Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about converting a lossless music collection to AAC using a Synology NAS. So I have this share on my NAS and I have a directory called lossless music. And within this directory, I have, you know, all these albums here. And these are M4A files, but it's the Apple lossless codec in them. So First thing I need to do is enable SSH on the Synology NAS. So if you log into the Synology DSM and go to the control panel, you'll see this basic or advanced up here, and you want to click on advanced. So the terminal and SNMP is available down here. So we'll click on that, and then you want to make sure you have enable SSH service selected. So, and you'd hit apply, and then we're done with the DSM. You can close that out. And then you would go to a terminal or on Windows, you would use PuTTY to SSH into the Synology NAS. So I type SSH space RIC at and then the IP address of my NAS and then I'll type in my password and I'll be in my home directory here but I want to get to this DS share directory so I'll type CD space forward slash volume one and your volume number could be different but it shouldn't be too hard to find and then forward slash DS underscore share and that gets me to this directory here. So I can type ls ref loss and we'll see the lossless music there. Next I'll need to get this a shell script. So I have this on my website. I'll put a link in the description to it. I'm going to copy this. And then I want a text editor. So on my Mac, I'll open up text edit. On a PC, you'd probably use something like Notepad. I'll create a new document and I'll paste this in here. Now, if I go to my back to my terminal and type in ffmpeg space dash codex and then type pipe grep AAC, this will show us the AAC codec and it'll tell us which encoders are available, which are AAC and libfaac. And this is an older version of MPEG, um, so you have to turn on some extra flags to use AAC, or you can use libfaac, so we'll use that. And in my script here, you'll see I have this um, selected. I may take this out. If I do, you'd have to just change this on your own. So I will comment out this first line, and I will uncomment out this line. So let's go over this script real quick. It's a shell script, so this tells it that it's a shell script. Uh, set E, set dash E makes it so if we hit control C, we can cancel out of this script. You need that in there because if it's running, when you hit control C, it will just cancel the current FFmpeg conversion script that's running, and it um, will just continue with the script. So set E makes it kill the whole script. And this is just some usage information. This um, cleans up the directories you supply to it. This is a find command that finds all the um, FLAC or M4A, so it's the FLAC or Apple lossless files, and it passes them to this loop. And then this loop uh, tweaks the names and runs this FFmpeg command. So what it does is it um, copies the lossless audio into a new directory and encodes it at the same time. If we take this script now, we can save this out. I'll just save it to my desktop. I'll say convert underscore to underscore AAC dot SH. And then I will drag that into my DS share. So if I go to DS share here, I'll type ls grep convert, and we'll see it's here. I'll type ch mod space plus x space convert to aac.sh, and that will make it executable. Now it's not letting me do this, so I'll type uh, the command again, and I'll put sudo in front of it, and it will ask me for my password. So now we have an executable. I can type uh, dot slash convert to aac.sh, and then I'll supply the lossless audio directory, which is lossless underscore music. And it doesn't matter if you have this uh, trailing slash here or not. I'll type space, and then I will need to go in here and create a directory to store new uh, music in. So on the Mac, I will name that AAC. You could do that on the command line too before you run the command. So I'll add that in here, and then I'll run this. And now this is going to batch convert your music from FLAC to, uh, you know, FLAC or lossless to AAC. So if we go into our directory here, we'll go into AAC. You'll see it added the folder directory structure just like it has in the lossless here. And we can go here and we can. Uh, hit control C to stop this and if you do stop it you want to find out what it was encoding so here it was encoding trouble me I'll go into my directory here and I'll delete trouble me and if I start this back up again it will start up where it left off so it will look to see that it's already done these and it won't do them again and it will continue on. So I have another video uh, where I do this on a Mac and this is, it's very similar. It's just we're doing it on the NAS itself. I'll be doing another video where I show how to do this with MP3s too. So um, if you're not into AAC, uh, watch for that video coming up shortly. This will run for probably quite a while until it's you know finished up, but 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.